Rockwell ESPN 1420, and we're here at the Mercedes Benz Superdome at the 2018 Sunbelt Media Day. I'm here with Rob Hunt, offensive lineman, Red Sir Jr. Okay, so how has this new found offense uh, for the Cajuns this season been? And there's a quarterback battle going on. How has the team responded to it? Right now, um, the offense is gelling like, really well, man. We, we played really well in the spring. We did um, good, great things because Nippy is like a mastermind with the offense. So he's definitely like got a plan. And just like trying to pursue that plan. We're trying to like just trust the process of what he has. And the quarterback battle, man. Those like those guys all in there working. So like we we, we could care less. We like we we plan for that's all line. I'm talking speaking as all line, but um, like those two guys are great. Well, New Year's is really great, and Levi is really great. So. You was telling me earlier that you lost 30 pounds, so uh, would you consider that with the new uh, strength and conditioning coach and y'all work workouts off season, or you just cut out the McDonald's? <laughs> I, I cut out the McDonald's a long time ago, honestly, but um, it's just like, I think it's um, a part of the strength and conditioning stuff, man. We did we do a lot of stuff. We run like four times a week. In the spring, we ran like five, I believe. Um, it's just, it's just great, and I wanted to do it too. Like I wanted to coach sell. He came to me and told me like, if, like your demon is going to be your weight. So if you lose weight, you'll play well. I play really well. So, so what's a good comfortable playing weight for you? I like three fifteen. I like three like around three fifteen, three twenty. I like that. I like, that's what's fine because the lightest I've been. Light, it'll, it'll be the lightest that I've played in, like in the in the season since probably high school. Now, as an offensive lineman on the schedule, your toughest interior lineman you were at the face is Alabama. And I hear you have that circled on the schedule. How do you feel about that game coming up? Me personally, I'm like I'm excited for the game just because it's Alabama. I want to play well. I want to do good things just because I did like I the stuff that's what I want to do in life. So I'm ready for that. But as a team, I feel like we're gonna take every game like just like Alabama like, play every game. What other game are you excited for that's on the season? That's on the rock uh, on the I'm ready for September first, man. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a big game. I want all the fans to come out supporters, man. I want that I want that to be like a really really crazy game. I want that to be crazy. Do you think that we should start scheduling more against state school games against each other? Uh, yeah, I mean I feel like we you mean like more than one more, more than one? I feel like we could that that will bring I feel like it'll bring a lot of fans in, man. I mean I'll shoot. Yeah, you hear that. Okay, that's switching over. Um, there's a lot of new music that's come out this summer. Mm -hmm. What are some of the tunes that the, the team is listening to in the locker room that get y'all pumped, get y'all going? Oh, those dudes listen to some cool crap. What do you listen to? I listen to Juice World, man. I like Juice World. The new Chance came out. A couple of little songs he dropped the other day. I like those. A new Wiz is kind of lit, but like my favorite go-to all summer been Juice World. Juice World. Yeah, Juice so World. So before the game starts, what song by Juice World do you have to listen to? All girls are the same. Can you give me a line from you? <laughs> I know the whole song, but that would be kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> that would right. be kind of weird. All right, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you.